Hello! So, we've got our character. We've got the character's texture. So what we need to do now is to create a pose. So the pose that we're going to use is nothing too fancy. We just want something to make sure the cloth is working nicely on it. So I'm thinking if we bring the legs down, just one across. Obviously we need to then move the that bit. And actually if I bring it down to one side like this, I might actually rotate the foot so that it's not flat on the floor. Like that. Might also rotate it around like this a little. Bring it forward. There are a couple of issues still with this um, rig, but that's not too much of an issue really. Mostly here we're just uh, just uh, making sure that we have a pose for the cloth. And looking this way, so I probably want the arm up here. Probably want this elbow around back a little. Some more right here. A slight bend in the arm, but nothing too big. Brilliant. So we go with something very simple like this. There are still a few issues with the rig with the in terms of the way it moves the rest of the body. But this will do. So what we're gonna do now is select everything and press control. C to copy it. Um, it's probably not going to be necessary because I don't have any keyframes, but I'm going to jump to frame 50 and I press I with everything selected and lock location and rotation. Um, I've set the end frame to 60, which is 10 after the frame one. Then back to frame one, I'm going to hold down the Alt key. I'm going to press G and R. And just in case, I'm going to press S as well. But I didn't have any for S, and I set another keyframe. Location rotation. Now, if I hit play, you'll notice that it'll shift from one part to the next. It'll then instantly restart, but that's fine. And that's all we're doing for this. Something very small, very nice, very simple. Um, not too much effort. I'm hoping everyone can do this. The next thing we're going to do is how to export this now in order to take it into a program like Marvelous Designer. First thing we want to do is we want to go up to the output property there, frame rate, I'm going to change it to 30 frames a second. It will now, um, although it won't appear like it, it will slightly speed it up. But more importantly, when it's now keying the frames out in order to exporting, it will export it as a 30 frame per second animation. Um, which is, is actually is functioning as, a, as you can see at the top left here. If I set this to uh, 60, it should be much quicker. Ah, oh, uh, it won't actually run in 60 because of the uh, thing, but it'll be slower at uh, this frame rate, but we want 30. And that'll be perfect. Now we're just going to quickly look at the mesh. Uh, so you can see that there is a slight jolt here. So I'm actually going to just quickly go into pose mode. Bring this over a little, around a bit, just to get rid of that jolt a little. Yeah, so that those two bones, location rotation. Uh, if I go back to the start and go again, make sure there's not that weird jolt. There we go. And everywhere seems fine now. And just making sure it seems good. Okay, so we're going to use a format you've probably not used before. So we're going to select both the uh, armature here and the mesh. So, um, so terminology, armature, the bones, the rig, as you might call it, this bit. 
but not this. So the armature and the mesh. Um, we want both of them. Then we're going to go File, Export, and then we want Alembic. I'm going to send it in here, and I'm going to call this one just 3D Rig. And that's what I'm going to name it. Now, on the right hand side, these are important. So there's a scale, which we aren't going to adjust. Frame start, frame end, that's fine. Samples, that's fine. We'll leave that the same. Geometry, we'll leave that the same. We don't touch any of these other than selecting selected objects only because we don't want to export the sun or the camera. So just the ones that we have selected. These are fine. We'll pack these. Subdivisions, we will apply. And that is all we need to do for this one. So now export Alembic. And you'll see at the bottom, they will go up. It might take longer or quicker the few, depending on your computer. And, and that is that finished. So we will call the video here. And in the very beginning of the next video, we'll start importing this into Marvelous Designer. Thank you very much for watching. And um, join me for the next one, because the next one is going to be a fun one. Because I very much enjoy Marvelous Designer. So, hope you have a wonderful evening.